Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over another Ultra League Premier Team. Uh, this one's going to be Umbreon in the lead with Muck, uh, Shadow Kanto Muck as our safe swap. Um, you've seen these two in a lot of our videos, and in the first game, I actually used Talonflame because uh, I, I like the coverage of Talonflame and Umbreon, and then after that first game, I was like, you know what might be better? Venusaur. So I'm going to play the last four sets with Venusaur, or the last four games, I'm sorry, with Venusaur. And um, yeah, actually Venusaur is undefeated here, so definitely strap in. This is, you know, in the other videos, I also said uh, Venusaur is one of the best mon in Ultra League Premier. Counters a lot of the XLs, uh, especially all those water types, the pesky Politoed that y'all know uh, is haunting my dreams, as someone said in the comments. So yeah, we're going to go with this team. Um, if you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button on the channel. Channel, We have hit 5,000 subs. I know I said that in another video, but that is crazy to me. Thank you all so much for the support. Let's get into this one. All right, so I believe this first game is somewhere around 3180 uh, ELO. So this is where we want to see Nidoqueen Queen if we see it at all, especially with the Venusaur variant, with the Typhlo... No, Typhl not Typhlosion. With the... Um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of it? Talonflame version of this team... Um, it's okay to see this uh, in the back as well. Um, with the um, with the Venusaur one, it's not as great unless Venusaur gets a lot of farm uh, to be able to pressure those shields. You'll see that in a later game uh, down the road where I actually show this off uh, pretty well. Um, here, just going to be throwing um, foul plays, trying to make sure they don't sneak any moves. Can't do that all the time, but you know, trying my best here, hoping that lag doesn't get the best of me. Uh, in all of these games, or in some of these games, uh, it definitely does in some, but um, for the most part, uh, you can you can deal with it. All right, so this matchup's actually pretty long, only because the Nidoqueen Queen is actually um, uh, not Shadow. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna start getting, I'm gonna start ramping up here. If they have um, Jellicent in the back, I do want to see that uh, earlier rather than later. Uh, they do end up having this Politoed. They're down one shield already. Uh, I decided to go straight for the Brave Bird uh, because the odds of doing this seem pretty low. And we do uh, get there without taking the sh or without uh, them shielding, so we do a lot of damage here. I'm just going to let Talonflame go. Um, probably come in with Muck, maybe shield once, uh, and go for this big farm down and a lot of energy. Uh, I think it's worth it. Um, the Dark Pulse, oh, wait, this is just a Weather Ball, I think, is it? Yeah, so don't need to shield that one. I think they are going to make it to another one, though. Yeah, they were one off from throwing the Earthquake, uh, which I was surprised they ended up throwing that anyways. Might as well have, uh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that, the phone. Uh, I did want to go for this Dark Pulse, ended up just not getting there. Uh, probably do need to shield this muck in case there is a charmer in the back, but actually uh, We're pretty screwed if there is a charmer in the back or a fighter and I actually think this ends up being obstagoon Yeah, and we switch at the same time. Maybe I had chances uh, The other way probably not though because I bet they would just farm up to two throw one at the muck and then um, uh, Throw one uh, a Night slash at the muck which will KO it from here for sure and actually end up getting to two last resorts, which is pretty lucky. But um, yeah, they're just not going to shield this. No reason to. This will get them down to like 40%. Yeah. Nowhere near getting um, taken out here. I end up shielding this because I have it. So, But they're at two, so we're about to get taken out. And I think they end up getting the boost on the second one anyways. Doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully they've used up their boost for the day. <laughs> you know, if they use it in this game, they can't use it again. That's a rule. I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, we saw it. 3170. That's the rating I'm at for these games. Okay, Dragalge. And I think at this point I've switched into the Venusaur. So this is definitely where we want to see uh, the Dragalge. Dr is it Dragalge or Dragalge? I think it's Dragalge. Um, this is definitely where we want to see it. I actually am going to think about shielding the Outrage here. Um, even though we can definitely tank it, I do need this Umbreon uh, uh, a lot for this matchup. And um, I just want to make sure I end up being as healthy as possible. If they had baited with an Aqua Tail, uh, that would have been rough. But I don't see them baiting against Umbreon. Really not a lot of reason to do so. 
Um, they end up switching here into Snorlax. Now I'm not in range of getting KO'd by a superpower, and I'm kind of conf I'm kind of conflicted at what I want to do here, because I have to ask myself what do I think is in the back, and I think it's is a Politoed in the back. So I really would want to switch into Venusaur against this uh, Snorlax, but I don't want Dragalge to take out Venusaur. So now this is what I'm contemplating the whole time, and then I'm not going to shield this. No reason to do so. Uh, like I said, not going to get KO'd by a superpower here. Uh, ends up being a body slam anyways. So I'm going to go for the foul play. And this is probably a superpower. Um, their shadow, this probably KOs from here. Does not. We save that foul play for later. Um, I can use it at any point later. Not going to shield anything here on Muck. This is definitely a body slam. And it is reduced attack uh, stat from doing the... Uh, from doing the superpower ends up coming in with stun fisk at least we have a lot of energy um we're not in range to get ko'd by a rock slide uh but maybe a rock slide in a really big farm down could happen uh, but we'll definitely make it to a dark pulse if they do so i'm saving my shield for venusaur at this point um at, at this point i know exactly what i'm gonna do uh it, whether they shield this or not i'm gonna let them ko our muck and then i'm gonna come in with Umbreon, throw um, throw that foul play because this is the only safe point to use it. Not going to catch any fast moves or anything. This is coming in fresh. I know I have the move. Throw it and then switch back into Venusaur real quick. Definitely, this is going to get the shield. They have no idea what I have in the back. They know I'm scared though. Um, and then I'm definitely going to come in with the Venusaur. Probably need to shield the Earthquake. And I have no reason to believe that they're not going to throw it right here. Okay, they come into Dragalish here. So Frenzy Plant is double resisted and Sludge Bomb is single resisted. So I go for the bait here. Um, I don't think this would even KO, to be honest. And uh, definitely get there. And we're definitely going to make it to the Sludge Bomb as well. Definitely a higher attack stat on Venusaur. I'm pretty sure because Dragalish is a level 50 mon, thus making it uh, very bulky. Uh, whereas Venusaur, I think, is level 38 or something like that. So. Uh, we end up taking it out. They did switch, so I know if I can just get to this Frenzy Plant right away, we're good. I know for a fact this is not Earthquake, uh, since they threw the Earthquake on um, uh, on meter there, and this is definitely going to take it out. I totally forgot. I think their last mon is Snorlax. Uh, this game's very close to going to time, but I think they're like three hits away. Yeah, 12 seconds away from the timer there. That's what happens with all the bulky mon. You know, the leads were two level 50s, and that just is what it is. All right, Nidal Queen in the front. Now, more than ever, uh, we need Umbreon against this Nidal Queen. I believe this player actually swapped on us a few times. Unfortunate, into Scrafty, double resisting this foul play. Uh, but that's okay. Probably going to come in with Venusaur here, because this is what I wanted to do from the beginning. Uh, I want to go Frenzy Plant here. Oh, I remember this game. We end up lagging a ton, and I lose track of what's happening, which is really unfortunate. So I know they're at 7 here. We CMP tie. Uh, Venusaur wins CMP. I wanted to do something similar on the next foul play, but you're going to see here lag destroys us, and I have no idea where they're at uh, or where we're at. And they end up throwing... I should have known because they end up throwing before we even get to this Frenzy Plant. It should have been a CMP tie at the 6th uh, turn there, or I guess the 12th turn. So then I decide, you know what, I already shielded. I'm going to go for this full farm down. This is just a pup. Uh, I know that I won't get KO'd here. It's resisted. And then I know when Nidal Queen comes in, we can just go for the Frenzy Plant. This is neutral damage. Um, we have two, but if they decide to throw here, I'm actually just going to let it go and then realign back with Umbreon. So, what do we think they have in the back? I don't know, but I know they're going to try to switch on us. They already tried that once before. It is an Umbreon. Um, I decided I don't know what to do here quite yet, so I'm going to stay in. I'm going to get a foul play, and then probably switch out after a foul play. Probably let them throw a last resort at us as well. Yeah, this is perfect. Uh, I just want to make sure I have energy once we go back into that Nidal Queen matchup. Uh, so I'll switch here. Uh, our switch timers are obviously uh, a little off uh, as well. 
And now I don't know if I want to maintain energy for the possible Nidoqueen Queen matchup or take this as low as possible. I decide to go for three. Uh, that aligns us with them. Uh, our turns are two fast turn. Our, our fast moves are two turns. There's our three. So when we go three times, they go twice. No extra energy anywhere. Now we have that extra energy. I'm going to throw that into the Nidoqueen. Queen. Uh, one, we're trying to we're trying to get our timer back up. We actually do want this muck. We don't want to go into the mirror match with a uh, being poison fanged. So I will shield this. Almost no reason for them to bait here. Um, and then I'm hoping to get a switch in. You see me just spamming in that car. I want to switch in before um, getting hit by another Earth Power, which we definitely were going to be able to do. And and like I said, the whole reason for all of that was I don't want to have only Umbreon against Umbreon, but our Umbreon being Poison Fang to Fence Dropped. This game, um, another very bulky on bulky uh, team here. Uh, I have sped this up, so luckily that is good for y'all. Uh, but yeah, I just didn't want to get stuck in that matchup. And actually, against the Shadow Nidoqueen, Queen, it, it seems really nice uh, that it's, it does seem like three foul plays is pretty good um, to take it out. I'm definitely going to make it to this last resort. I already have a Thunder Punch ready. Um, switch should be up pretty soon, probably after this. Looks like one more. Thunder Punch, boom. All right, GG. Oh, and that one went all the way to time, up to zero seconds. All right. Umbreon against Politoed. Pretty good lead for us, but at the same time, we would really like to swap at some point, and they swap for us. So this is perfect. I want to win this middle matchup. Now, they did have a two-powder snow advantage. Uh, I was a little slow to switch. Unfortunate for us, we're definitely going to have to shield at least once, uh, depending on if they shield this Thunder Punch or not. If they don't shield... Um, we should only have to shield the one time. If they do shield, we'll shield twice and go for a farm down. Um, shielding twice is fine. We still have Thunder Punches for the Politoed. Um, we're not sure what's going to be in the back, but I think Venusaur is going to be okay against it. Um, it could be a Charmer. It could be Jellicent. Those are the things. That, well, it can't be. I guess it could be Jellicent, but I doubt it. Uh, because Politoed is in the front. What, what goes good with Politoed? It's possible that it's Mandibuzz. Um, yeah, something anti-grass, right? You don't really need to be anti-electric in this meta. Uh, I did use Ampharos in a few games this season. In, in fact, maybe, uh, maybe like last week sometime. Uh, but you don't need to be, oh, and they actually get us down right before that. Unlucky. Ends up being a Scavalier. So this is pretty scary for us. So I go Frenzy Plant here, and then I'm going to switch. I just, I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can. Uh, and not get hit by a charge move on the Venusaur. Um, this could be Megahorn, but most people are running Acid Spray now. So if they're running Acid Spray, I'm not looking to uh, shield any of that kind of shenanigans. Uh, we do want to land one of these foul plays. Uh, if we do land a foul play, it will be they will be in range of Frenzy Plant. Um, our, I remember this opponent. They go for some interesting tactics here. They're actually trying to get to the switch timer. Um which maybe they can get to uh, because they end up not throwing here. Um, it's pretty interesting. I definitely would have shielded if they did throw for sure, but this is going to pull their last shield uh, almost assuredly also. Oh, we already took the last shield, so they're pretty low. I'm actually going to let this go. Uh, we'll save our last shield for Venusaur here. Uh, I actually think the strongest move left in this game is Earthquake from the Politoed. Um, it does more damage than Drill Run, and um, if I do shield on the Politoed, it means that I can probably just farm down. Uh, they possibly have Blizzard, but I'm, not, I'm really shielding an Earthquake here. Um, the, they don't have Megahorn. They would have definitely used it on the Umbreon, and um, uh, Megahorn Acid Spray is a weird moveset for sure. That That's not realistic. Uh, this is 100% sure a Drill Run. And we, yeah, they're super low. So this is going to definitely KO them. And that's going to be a GG. Uh, Escavalier in the back, obviously very difficult for our team. Uh, any sort of, like, um, ground is going to be tough for us, except for Swampert. All right, this is pretty neutral matchup. I, I kind of remember this game, too. This happened, well, like, an hour ago. But um, 
I remember we got some lag here, a, a bit unfortunate, and we weren't able to get our last move off. But it ended up being really interesting for us. So uh, the way for them to win this matchup is to go straight Earthquake. Um, if they ever bait, they end up losing. So I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna make calls that they're not gonna throw earthquakes, and then they end up throwing earthquakes uh, through the lag here, which is unfortunate. But uh, you'll see uh, we end up going for some pretty um, a pretty heavy farm down after that with Venusaur. So giving Venusaur all the energy is where we want to be. Plus them having Stunfisk in the front probably means Muck can do whatever he wants there in the back. And yeah, they actually end up getting that extra right there. So we would have made it to one more foul play, um, but alas, the uh, lag not on our side. Yeah, we would have gotten that foul play if they didn't get that extra um, mud shot in through the lag. But it's okay. Um, I decided to come in Venusaur here, and I'm going to just... I think I'm just going to go for the full farm down. I probably am going to shield once. Uh, Earthquake still would do about half. I think it does a little more than half. Uh, so I'm going to shield once and just get as much farm as I can. If they do decide to switch out, you know, they're going to lose switch and their stun fist is just going to be so low that it doesn't even matter. They end up coming in with a Venusaur here. Uh, so we have two sludge waves a sludge bomb uh, already built up. It takes a little more than that to KO, but I know they're not at a move, so I'm gonna gain a lot of extra energy here before I end up throwing this next one, which actually is gonna come in super handy because they end up switching in. Luckily, we did gain a little bit of an advantage. It's Gallade, so Gallade's gonna be, Confusion is gonna be super effective against both the Mon we have left, but the one saving grace here is that its charge moves are really bad against everything we have left as well. We resist everything on both Mon. So this is the last Frenzy Plant I can realistically get off. I'm going to switch out of here so they don't get that extra Confusion farm down. And now I'm just looking to uh, get this Thunder Punch off. Uh, they end up going for this move here, close combat, I believe. I'm not going to shield anything because we resist everything. And uh, they overfarm for a confusion here, and that's going to be GG. Uh, this is going to take this out, and um, they only have one move on Venusaur. They don't have the time to get to another move while taking this poison damage. So we just shield up, we farm down, and that's a GG. So 4-0 with the Umbreon Muck uh, Venusaur team. That's going to be the team I'm trying tomorrow. 0-1 uh, with the Talonflame. I do think that's still a good team. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I think the meta's more helpful for Venusaur. Uh, allowing a farm down with Venusaur means you can actually throw out tons of good moves against things that it's bad against, like Nidoqueen, uh, yeah, and so on, so on and so forth. So, uh, again, thank you so much for the support here on YouTube. I'm trying to get out as many videos as I can. I've actually put out one video every day this month. And I remember on day eight, I said this wasn't going to be possible. We're actually so close to the end here. I think I actually can do this. So thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you in the next one.